Hi everyone, welcome to another video. This is uh, Mr. Chow from EnglishTuition.org. Now in today's video, we're going to look at uh, some of the past year uh, questions that has been in the PSLE uh, continuous writing section. Uh, we call it creative writing here because we do need to be creative at times in order to come up with good ideas for the composition. So we'll look at the questions from 2016 to 2018. And in 2016, the topic that was given was a secret. I felt that on hindsight, this is a very good question because students will have to ask themselves before they even start to answer the question, what was the secret itself? And when you think about it, there are plenty of opportunities to exercise your creativity when it comes to deciding on the secret. Now here are some suggested storylines. You may want to adopt a heavy-handed or a serious approach when it comes to thinking of storylines. Maybe something like uh, being told that you are an adopted child in the family and that was the big secret that has been withheld from you for ages and when you finally learned about the secret what happened so that gives rise to a lot of drama family drama so if you like watching k drama and all that maybe this is the type of storylines that you would choose or maybe you can pick something that is childish and maybe even a tad silly so there's some you know a little bit of humor to it so that makes your composition a lot more fun to read uh, for example, you may write about keeping a naughty secret that you had about uh, bringing a toy to school. So you had to be really sneaky about it, you know, and you told your friend about it. And uh, what happened to the secret in the end? So there's a lot of room for creativity. Did your friend give you away? You know, uh, what happened to the toy? Was it confiscated? So that's another possible storyline. Or you can just uh, try to choose something that is somewhere in between, maybe not too serious and uh, not too childish. Right, such as keeping a, a secret okay, to a surprise birthday party. Now that may sound like a little bit cliche, but you can make the surprise to be really of a surprise. So what happened was, you know, you walked into this venue and then you have people wearing all kinds of interesting fancy costumes. And then finally, when they reviewed themselves, they are maybe your parents, your best friends, everyone who is dear to you is there at the party. So that's one possible storyline that you can use. And with that, let's move on to the next year. 2017 and that's the year when we have uh, the topic a special gift so there are two mysteries that are inherent in the question uh, the first one is who gave you that special gift so there's a person involved or did you give someone the special gift and the second mystery was that what was the special gift itself so there's a little bit of mystery uh, to the topic uh, you want to be sure that you don't give away you know, the climax too quickly so you don't start your story by just giving away right just writing oh the special gift was you know and then you gave the whole story away uh, in the introduction itself uh, the obvious approach for this question is that your best friend gave you a gift and that is why it is special you know that is just I think a tad too generic uh, many students would have chosen this topic uh, if you want to be a little bit more unpredictable Okay, maybe you can choose the heavy approach, but this is something that I don't really recommend. Okay, and you can write about you know the gift being given from someone who is very dear to you who had died, maybe your grandfather, your grandmother. But I think this kind of storyline is not very suitable for primary school kids because you know to write about death is very sombre, very serious. If it's not done right, then uh, it may actually work against you. And creative writing is supposed to be fun, it's supposed to be enjoyable. So I think uh, there are other possible storylines that you can choose. Okay, maybe you can choose a lighter approach. Uh, the gift itself contains some kind of prank, which made it memorable. So lots of opportunities for you to describe now the climax. What is the emotions that has been uh, experienced during the, uh, the, the event itself? Okay, so when you pop open the, the gift, you know, what was uh, the reaction? So you see in the slide, you know, there is a jack in the box, um, but uh, you could have something else. Maybe it was a spider, a rat, maybe it was just another present that has been wrapped so many times that it took you, you know, an hour or two hours to just to unwrap the gift and in the end find that, you know, there was nothing inside. Or you can have a more balanced approach by combining certain uh, elements which I've just mentioned. For example, there was a prank in the gift. Um, so after the prank was over, your best friend actually gave you the real gift and that is the special moment, right? And that is the conclusion of the story. Yeah? Maybe it was a well boxed up uh, pen, you know, that looks really expensive, and really costly, really nice. Okay, you see that I'm using a lot of adjectives, right? Just to describe the gifts, right? And that should be the approach uh, that the PSLE students should be taking. Now let's move on quickly to the year 2018. 2018, the topic was teamwork. 
right? And the very first question that pops to mind was, what was the joint effort? So students will have to decide on, you know, the joint effort to write about, okay? And did something interesting happen during the, the teamwork itself? You can, of course, again, choose the heavy approach due to a dispute. Students started you know, to fight one another. And uh, although I think that this approach could work, uh, but I, I'm hoping that no one died in the story yeah? because, again, you know, too much melodrama. We don't want you know, over-exaggerated storylines. Or you could adopt you know, the light approach, something embarrassing happened. Uh, for example, while you're making a presentation or maybe you know, it was the, the team's effort to put on a performance and then something embarrassing happened. Right? For example, someone tore his pants in the middle of the performance and revealed his butt tricks. Right? So that could be really embarrassing. And the teamwork right, was the team actually surrounded the student to help to prevent the embarrassment. So this could be a very fun and light-hearted storyline to write about. And as for the balanced approach, I think that I'm going to leave this open. Uh, let me know what you think in the comment section below, right, for year 2008 teamwork. What do you think is, you know, a possible or feasible uh, balanced approach uh, to this particular topic? And with that, we have come to the end of the video. I hope you have fun watching the video. If you do, do remember to leave a like and a subscribe. And I will see you soon in the next video. Bye-bye.